we are here to discuss about a case study the mental relationship turns upside down so let's get start i wish i could talk this problem over with uh, walter carol he thought walter limer had been uh, a mentor for several years at lachman consulting yet now he has a was, has a problem carol thought back to the beginning of her association with lachman and with walter she had joined the firm as a writer and editor Her job during those early years had been to revise and polish the consultant's business reports. The work brought her into the frequent con- contact with Walter, who was a senior vice president at the time. Carol enjoyed discussing the consultant's with- work with him. And when she had decided to try to join the consulting team, she asked for his help. Walter became her mentor as well as her boss and guided her through her su- successful transition. to consultant and eventually the partner at each promotion to various supervisory jobs along the way to partner carol cemented her relationship with her new subordinates by meeting with each person individually to forge a new working relationship her career prospered and when walter moved on to run a startup software a publishing venture for launchpad Carol was promoted to take his place. However, his new venture uh, partner and uh, partner decided someone else would have to step in. Despite part the fact that Carol was much younger than Walter and once had worked for him, she was uh, given the assignment for rescuing the startup operation. Carol's uh, discomfort over the assignment only grew as she began to review the history of the new venture. Her mission was going to entail undoing much of what uh, Walter had done. Reversing his decision about uh, everything from product design to marketing and pricing, uh, Carol was so repent uh, selling this her old mentor and her boss that she found her unable to discuss any of her proposed solution with her directly. She doubted that any of her experience uh, had prepared her uh, to assume the role of what is boss, and in the difficulty, her need to turn the operation around would be she felt like pouring salt on his wound. As Carol struggled with her conflicting loyalties, she realized that she was experiencing a classic case of the mentor relationship turned upside down. She had always relied on Walter for guidance and support, but now she found herself in the position of having to make decision that would directly affect his career. She knew that she had to handle the situation delicately if she wanted to preserve their relationship and also save the startup. To do this, Carol decided to seek advice from other mentors within the firm. She talked to several senior partners who advised her to be firm but respectful with Walter and to explain the reasons behind her decision. They also reminded her that as a leader of the startup, she had a responsibility to make the tough sales uh, even if they were unpopular. Armed with this advice, Carol approached Walter and explained the situation to him. She acknowledged his contribution to the startup, but also pointed out the areas where she felt changes needed to be made. To her relief, Walter was understanding and supportive. He recognized he recognized the need for the changes and even offered to help implement them. In the end, Carol was able to turn the startup around and preserve her relationship with Walter. The experience taught her that the mentor relationship can be a two-way street, and that sometimes the mentee has to step up and take the lead. It also showed her the importance of seeking advice from other mentors and peers when facing difficult decisions. What does Carol's role in Walter's career development now? Should Lachman have any such role? Why or why not? Carol's role in Walter's career development is not specified in this given scenario. However, given that Walter was her mentor and boss in the past, it can be assumed that she played a significant role in his career development at Larchman Consulting. Now that Carol has taken over Walter's role and has been tasked with rescuing his startup, she is in the position to affect his career in a different way. she has to make a difficult decision about the direction of the startup that may impact walter's reputation and future career prospects as for a large one consulting it is not clear from the scenario whether they have a role in the career development of their employees outside of the 
employment with a firm. However, it can be argued that large firm has a responsibility to support their employees' professional, professional growth and development. Even if they leave the firm, uh, this can be achieved through providing training and mentoring opportunities as a well maintaining a posit positive relationship from the former employees. In the case of Walter, large firm may uh, have an interest in his career development. If they see him as a valuable asset to the firm, they may want to maintain a positive relationship with him. Even if he no longer works for them, in case he decides to return or they want to work, for, work with him in the future, However, ultimately it is set up Walter to take charge of his own career development and seek out opportunity for growth and achievements. What advice would you offer Carol for approaching Walter? Yeah. If I were to offer advice to Carol, I could approach, I could suggest the following things. First, being respectful and empathetic. Walter was her mentor and boss. She should approach him with respect and empathy. Acknowledge his contribution and express gratitude from this guidance and support. Next, being clear and direct. Carol should be clear and direct about the challenges she needs to make up to a startup, why they are necessary and how they will benefit the company in the long run. She should provide special examples and data to support this arguments. Third is being clear and listening actively. While Carol should be clear about her own perspective, she should also be the one to open the Walter's in input and feedback. She should actively listen to her concerns and ideas and incorporate them into her decision making process. Next is focusing on the business. Both Carol and Walter should keep their personal relationships separately from their personal interaction. They should focus on what is the best for the startup and the company as a whole rather than their personal feeling and past interaction, seeking support and other mentors and from other mentors and colleagues. As mentioned in this scenario, Carol should advise from the mentor and colleagues with the friend. She should continue to seek support and guidance for those she trusts and especially for facing the dif difficult decisions. By approaching Walter in a respectful, clear and empathetic manner, and by focusing on the business rather than personal relationship, Carol can effectively navigate these challenges, situations and, and her relationship with Walter. If Carol has to dismiss Walter, how specifically would you suggest she proceed? If Carol has to dismiss Walter, it would be difficult and sensitive in situation. Here are some specific steps that I would suggest she take to proceed. Prepare for the conversation. Carol should prepare for the conversation in advance, gathering all the necessary information and documentation to support the decision. She should also anticipate potential re reactions and prepare responses. Choose a private and respectful setting. Carol should choose a private setting where she can have an honest and respectful conversation with Walter. It should be setting where Walter feels comfor comfortable and safe. Start with empathy and respect. Carol should begin the conversation by acknowledging Walter's contribution to the company and expressing gratitude for his past guidance and support. Be clear and concise. Carol should be clear and concise in her message, explaining the reasons for the decision and what led to it. She should provide specific examples and data to support her arguments. I would like to add more. Carol should listen actively to Walter's concerns and questions and provide honest and thoughtful responses. She should also be respectful of his feelings and emotions. Be professional and transparent. Carol should be professional and transparent in her communication, providing Walter with all the necessary information and documentation. She should also be clear about the next step and the support that will be provided to Walter. Provide resources and support. 
care should provide water with resources and support to help him transition to a new role of company. She should offer to provide a reference and help with his job search. Follow up. After the conversation, Caro should follow up with Walter to ensure that he has all the necessary information and support to need. She should be communicate the decision to other employees in a professional and transparent manner. In any situation where an employee needs to be dismissed, it is important to be handled in with empathy, respect and professionalism. By following these specific steps, Caro can proceed with the Dismissal in a way that is sensitive to Walter's feelings and preserves his dignity while also protecting the interests of the company. Assume Carol has heard a rumor that Walter has considered resigning. What should she do about it? If Carol had uh, heard a rumor that Walter has uh, considered resigning, she should approach him directly and have an open and honest talk with him. It, it is possible that uh, Walter is facing challenges in his current role and maybe consider leaving the company for personal or professional reason. Here are some steps that Carol can take. First of all, uh, schedule, uh, schedule a private meeting. Carol should sh schedule a private meeting with Walter to discuss the rumor. Second, uh, be honest. Carol should have been honest and transparent with uh, Walter about what she has here and explain that she is concerned for him and then asking questions. Karun should have asked Walter about his reasons for considering resigning and if there is any uh, anything uh, that his uh, company can do to address his concern or make his uh, job more friendly. Also, Carol should listen actively to Walter's concern and take them seriously. She should advise being defective, immersive and interested to show empathy and understanding. Offering support. Carol should offer support and resources to Walter, such as coaching and training, to help him overcome any challenges he may be facing. Following up. After the converse conversation, Carol should follow up with Walter to check in how he is doing and to see if there is any process in Addressing this concern, it is important for Carol to approach this situation with empathy and understanding. If Walter is considering resigning, it may be an opportunity for the company to address any issue or challenges he is facing and to work together to find the solution that benefits both Walter and the company. In conclusion, Carol is facing a difficult situation where her mentor Walter has become her problem. It can be challenging to manage a professional relationship when the roles are reversed. And Carol needs to approach this situation with empathy, understanding and professionalism. She should be honest with Walter, listen actively to his concern and offer support and resources to help him overcome any challenges he may be facing. If Carol has to dismiss Walter, she should do it respectfully, transparently and with a clear plan for how to move forward. Ultimately, Carol's goal should be to find a solution that benefits both Walter and the company while maintaining a positive and productive working relationship. Thank you.